Here's another famous actor who I've seen several times on screen. Rafe Fiennes, or as I used to call him, Ralph Fiennes, is an accomplished British thespian. He's been in the Harry Potter franchise, the James Bond franchise, and he's been nominated for two Oscars so far in his career. With that kind of a career, he's bound to have given some awesome performances. So here are my own five favorite Rafe Fiennes performances. Number five, The Prince of Egypt. Even if you're not religious, The Prince of Egypt is a very powerful film. The animation is astounding, the music is memorable, and the story is told very well. For those of you who don't know the story, The Prince of Egypt details the story of Moses, a Hebrew who was hidden by his mother, found by the Egyptian rulers, and raised as an adopted brother to Ramesses. Later, when he realizes his identity and is given his mission by God, Moses takes on Ramesses, who has become Pharaoh, in an effort to free his people from slavery. As portrayed in the film, Ramesses is a man who has been raised on tradition, as well as the notion that he is part of a royal line higher than any other human being. This puts an insane weight on his shoulders to be just as good as his ancestors, and he struggles with that burden throughout the film. But meanwhile, he genuinely loves Moses as a brother, so when Moses returns as his enemy, it breaks his heart. Ramesses is arrogant, cold, and it causes him to do very cruel things. But his villainy stems less from a straight-up evil and more from genuine hurt and self-criticism. Even though Rafe never appears on screen, he provides a voice so tuned to the character that I can't help but put this film in my top five. Number four, Schindler's List. It's safe to say that this is one of the most critically acclaimed movies of all time. It's no surprise that Rafe should give one of his greatest performances in this film. Eamon Goth is the man in charge of a concentration camp. He's a vicious sociopath who murders prisoners on a whim, yet paradoxically he has a perverse desire for a Jewish girl that he keeps as his mistress against her will. Goth is based on a real man who was exactly as cruel and sadistic as he appears in the film, and Rafe Fiennes does a chilling job making this man come alive again. It's said that when a survivor of Goth's concentration camp saw Rafe Fiennes in costume for the first time, she began to shake with genuine fear. But what makes his character so memorable is not just that he's a cruel and vile man, but we get moments where he seems to try to be reasonable or lenient, yet he can't allow himself to be either. The scenes where the sociopath tries to be different and fails are what really stick out in my mind when I think of Eamon Goth. And it was scenes like that where Rafe was the most memorable and captivating. Number 3. Land of the Blind. This is probably one of Rafe's least known and least seen films, but his fans really ought to give it a watch just for his presence alone. The movie features a very dark Orwellian tale about power and revolutions and government. Joe starts out the story as a guard in a maximum security prison. His country is ruled by the most spoiled, barbaric young dictator that I'd ever seen on television or film before Game of Thrones gave us King Joffrey. Meanwhile, John Thorne is a leader in the resistance movement, and he befriends Joe when they meet in the prison. Joe narrates the film with a very weary narration, as an old typewriter clicks away as Joe continues to write his story down. But as we're shown, history can easily be changed on paper. Joe's journeys through the film provide opportunities for the film's messages to shine out like beacons. Meanwhile, Rafe does a phenomenal job giving us the transformation of Joe through the story. It was the first time that I'd seen Rafe carry a movie as the lead role, and it deserves to be mentioned in this list. Number 2. Grand Budapest Hotel As of this review, I remain convinced that Grand Budapest Hotel is the best film of 2014. Wes Anderson gives us a comedy that is truly funny, 
with a style that you will never forget once you see it. The characters are colorful and played by legendary actors. In the middle of it all is Mr. Gustav, the elegant and foppish concierge of the Grand Budapest Hotel. This is Rafe at his classiest. He's so poised throughout the film, so well-spoken, so witty, that even his swear words are elevated beyond vulgarity. And yet it's all an illusion. Gustav places a high value on maintaining a faint glimmer of civilization, no matter how brutal his situation becomes. He lives by this code even when he's running from the police or worse. Gustav helps make this film so lively and amusing with all his antics, but he also provides a very strong moral and emotional center as the mentor of the main character. Meanwhile, his interactions with the other characters are endlessly enjoyable, and it will be a travesty if Fiennes does not get a third Oscar nom for this movie. And my number one Ray Fiennes film is In Bruges. In Bruges is one of my all-time favorite movies. It's a dark comedy about hitmen hiding out in Belgium after a hit goes disastrously wrong. Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson are at their very best in this film, as is Rafe Fiennes. Rafe portrays Harry Waters, the violent and temperamental boss who sends his hitmen to Bruges in the first place. We later find out that he sent them to Bruges because it was the last place where he himself was truly happy. Meanwhile, he spends the first half of the film as a dangerously temperamental voice on the telephone, and when he's allowed to appear on screen, it's instantly unforgettable. Harry Waters is a man of principles, however skewed and lopsided that they are. He will happily commit violence, but never against children. This leads his motivations to almost be that of an anti-hero instead of a villain, but I won't go into why that is. I also won't go into the many scenes where Harry's temper and endless swearing make for some of the movie's best scenes. I suggest you watch the film for yourself. It's great for many reasons, one of them being Ray Fiennes.